Welcome back to class 9. In this class we're going to be taking a look at motion graphics. What are they, how do we use them and where do we get them from? Right, so firstly I've moved up here because I want to take you through how we can find the default motion graphics that come with Adobe Premiere Pro. So what we're going to do is we're going to head up to this top right hand workspace panel and we're going to select captions and graphics. And right now I'm going to show you how to add your first motion graphic to your timeline. Once we're on this panel right here, we're going to select browse and then we'll see two sections, my templates and browse templates from Adobe stock. Now Adobe stock is going to have a select amount of templates that we can buy or ones that are free. Now the ones that are free, we can tick this box and it comes up with six pages of transitions so and, and other stuff. So for example, right now, if we wanted to add a circular reveal title, um, I can drag and drop it it downloads it slash loads it and then you'll notice that it's on my screen. So if I actually move this panel, it's a little trick right here, move these panels across just so my screen becomes bigger. If I now play my, my, my video, I've got this very cool transition with title. Now obviously I wouldn't put a title over me speaking. I put it for example in between two clips of change. So let's give it a little play and you see that? Right, amazing. The transition happens super smooth. And once we have the transition in place, we can pretty much click on it right here on our timeline, select the T for text button, highlight where the text is, double click, and we can now type in whatever we like to this. And then we can also customize the text on the right hand side here, just as we normally would. If you wanna add another transition or, or call out, go back over to browse, make sure you're on the Adobe templates, and then select one to drag and drop. So for example, maybe I want a social media lower third. Now a lower third is something that comes just in the bottom of the screen and it often is to, to add extra information. So for example here, dynamic lower third, and maybe I wanna add this in to highlight something that's being shown in the video. It looks quite nice, it's a very smooth transition. Now sometimes to change your motion graphics uh, text, you wanna head over here to the essential graphics panel which was on, instead of browse, be on edit while it is highlighted, and then it'll say text controls, text 01, text 02, and here we can also change the text. This is how you use motion graphics. This is how you get them to start with, when you're just loading up Adobe Premiere Pro, the nice easy way. And then you choose and customize them based on what type of video you're creating. You've got an end card here that we could use at the end of a, of a YouTube video. Again, this is dedicated for YouTube. You've got something saying subscribe, previous video, next video, and some of the templates you'll find are built for YouTube and some are built for more corporate stuff. And if you enjoyed today's tutorial, please do check out my website with my own online course on video editing in Premiere Pro. It covers all the tips and tricks, stuff like you've seen today in very quick, easy to follow formats and teaches you how to become a fantastic editor simply, quickly, and it will not waste your time. So please do check it out down below. Thank you.